Hi, I'm Lisa Wheeland. I am the supervisor of the Mobile Services Department, and we handle all of the library business outside the building, um, along with other staff. Um, I'm, I really enjoy my job. I feel very lucky to work for Calvert Library. The first job I applied for at Calvert Library was to work in the Mobile Services Department or on the bookmobile, and I didn't get it the first time. <laughs> but I tried again, and now I'm actually the supervisor for the department, and our brand new bookmobile is coming, and I'm so excited because it's like a dream come true. It was what I really wanted to do when I started here. I, I think it, it all goes back actually before I was a commissioner. Uh, it goes back to, I'm not very good at reading at all. <clears throat> so I was very prone to want to see education. You know, I'm fortunate. I feel fortunate. I can do certain things, but there's people that can't do certain things, whether, you know, transportation in this county is, is not like, D.C., where you can get on a bus and go three blocks and get off and go to a, a main facility. You just can't do that. And I thought it was, and I knew we had a mobile uh, library. I mean, they had, the, that went to Fairview School back when they had the elementary and all there. I mean, Millie, you know, we were talking about that last night where it would come by Fairview uh, once a month and they would go on the bus to get uh, uh, the books. It just kept eating at me that we needed a better way, larger, safer, newer method of being able to get the knowledge from experts by mobile to places where people could utilize our, our, our local uh, facilities and you, that you needed a newer, more modern method of doing that. And I think that's where I got really involved with uh, um, the new uh, mobile unit, which I hadn't seen yet, by the way. But uh, that, that sort of gives you a background of where I'm coming from. And I just, I just, you know, I, I just see so many great things that happen at our facilities in, in the county, our facilities meaning the libraries, and, uh, you know, not just books. I mean, there are books there, there are videos there. The people there know what they're talking about, and if they don't, they know somebody knows what they're talking about, or they can guide you in the right directions. Uh, my name is Mary Russell. I lived in Calvert County all of my life. Uh, I attended uh, school here, uh, attended a uh, National Science Foundation program at Goucher College for high school students. And I believe I was called into the office and uh, it was explained to me that there was going to be um, an opening for teenagers at the Calvin County Library. Um, I don't remember what the salary was. I think the going salary around the time may have been one twenty-five per hour. I'm not sure. So I did work that summer at the library. There were, I think, three other girls and myself. We were all, I believe we were all students at Brooks High School. We would go in five days a week at the library, and we would uh, do various tasks. Um, at one point, we would go out on the bookmobile. I um, seems like we had a schedule, and I did not go out on the bookmobile every day. But I do remember there were times when I did go out, and I remember the the bookmobile uh, driver was Mrs. Harry, H-U-R-R-E-Y, and her first name, they called her Kitty. We used to go to the Navy base. Uh, at that time, there were people living on the Navy base, and we would go to the different, it was like base housing, so we would drive, drive around the Navy base, and people would come out and get on the bookmobile that seems to be 
where I remember the most people using it. Um, and I also remember a stop in Chesapeake Beach where there was a Maryland National Bank and a post office. I can't remember. Too many other stops, maybe somewhere in Breezy Port. That kind of sticks in my mind that uh, we went somewhere in Breezy Point. I, I, I remember at, at some point they started hiring uh, a couple of African-American people to work in the library. That was, in fact, the, the lady that took over the bookmobile was African-American, Mildred, yes. When she started there, it was in the late 60s. Well, she was still in high school, probably in the late 60s. So it must have been in maybe the 70s. The 70s is, is a time that I remember that it seemed like more African Americans were using the library. Well, I started working on the bookmobile in 1973. There were two of us on the bookmobile. Um, at that time, Calvert County was very rural. It was only the main library and the bookmobile. We would go to one end of the county one week and to the lower end of the county the next week. Uh, we went out four days a week. We did get Fridays in to get everything ready for the bookmobile for the next week. Um, I really enjoyed the job. I got to meet people, go into their homes and visit with them and, and um, get to know everybody. We got fond of people. And uh, we got really, made really good friends. And uh, they really appreciated us coming. With the county the way it was, people just didn't get in their car and run to Prince Frederick every day for something. Uh, so they were grateful that the bookmobile came and they appreciated us. You know, like in summertime, we would stop in neighborhoods and children would be waiting for us standing under the tree or something. And they'd, get, they'd look forward to us. They'd all get on the bookmobile at one time. We did the single homes. We went to daycare centers. We did go to schools. We also did um, story times in the schools. I mainly remember the Penny Theater because I had never seen a Penny Theater, but we had to, he had to make the characters and uh, do the programs. And after school, after we did the show, they came on, the classes would come in and, uh, of course, they could ask us to bring books for the next year. I mean, the next week, the kind they wanted. Or uh, they really, well, it gave them a break to get out of the school. <laughs> they enjoyed that, and we enjoyed seeing them. It's always nice to see children interested in books because books have been part of my whole life, and uh, I, I love to see children read. That's one. That's one of the best things I think they can do. <laughs> My name is Pamela Shorter, and um, I lived in Lusby. I grew up in Lusby, and I remember the bookmobile coming around. Um, it would go to Appeal Elementary School, and we would go on the bookmobile and get books. And it was really um, my first experience of seeing brand new books, because a lot of the books that were in the schools, um, they were kind of tattered and were used before we got to read them. So it was a great experience to check out brand new books and we made sure we took care of them and we returned them. Hi, my name is Francine Clark and my connection to the bookmobile is uh, at, during the summer um, when the bookmobile came to our community. It was just something that I really look forward to as well as my other siblings. Uh, just a memory of just going up the steps and just seeing all the books available, just so colorful and, and new. Um, being able to check out the books, um, you know, for I think it was like a couple of weeks before it would come back. And just reading those same books over and over again, it was like an adventure. The greatest benefit of having a bookmobile going out into our community in Calvert County is that other young people will have the opportunity to access books um, that they wouldn't normally 
be able to do maybe because of lack of transportation, um, two libraries, uh, the hands-on aspect of checking out a book, just the personalization of it is just so important. I think, you know, with, with social media and everything that you can access online, the experience is no way as great as actually checking out a book, holding it in your hands, reading it as the stories come alive for young people. Hello, I'm Hugh Davies and I'm on the Smile Board here in Lusby. We're really excited about the bookmobile coming to our campus. At Smile, our customers get a range of services from the food pantry to the thrift store to the mobile career center. And now they're gonna get a library coming to our campus with all of the services that it will bring to us. So we're quite excited about that. Um, there'll be help with homework, access to books, and a range of other things that people will be able to get um, at the bookmobile. So um, come join us. We're excited about it being here. My name is Joni Kilman, and I recently retired from Calvert Library. And it really made me start thinking about when did my romance with the book and libraries begin? And absolutely, it began with the bookmobile and Beach Elementary School. When I was nine or 10, the bookmobile started coming to town. I remember vividly it stopped at the Chesapeake Beach Town Hall and my mother would take me and I couldn't wait to get on the bookmobile and so much of my enthusiasm had to do with the librarians. Miss Kitty Hurry and Miss Mildred Hairston will always be remembered by everybody as the happy, wonderful, welcoming librarians and if they were the first librarians in anybody's lives, they were the best. Kids ran from everywhere when the bookmobile stopped. And it was better than the ice cream truck, which is hard to believe. But if you think about it, the ice cream truck, you had to pay to get your ice cream. And this was free, free books and wonderful librarians to help you choose what to read if you ask for help. Uh, I'm sure the bookmobile is how I got introduced to the Cherry Ames series. A lot of my friends were reading Nancy Drew or the Hardy Boys, but I really liked Cherry Ames, the traveling nurse. And I'm sure I was very influenced by Cherry Ames at the Dude Ranch. And I didn't even know what a Dude Ranch was, but I knew I wanted to go there and be their nurse. Well, that never happened. But what did happen was I became a librarian. And so these early influences by Miss Sollers asking me to help her, by the wonderful ladies who brought the bookmobile around, I'm sure it had a lot to do with my subconscious that, hey, this is great. You get to be around books, you make people happy, and you get to answer questions for people. So I really owe a lot to Calvert Library's bookmobile. I remember when the big old truck was replaced and there was a contest to name the newer truck. And the Norris family won by naming it Rolling Tones. And so that was a very big deal in town. My name is Grace Mary Brady. And when I was a little girl, I lived in North Beach Park uh, North Beach, Maryland. My first experience with the bookmobile was it came every week to First Street in North Beach Park. We had a regular family community there. I lived there with my parents and six siblings. My grandparents lived across the street. My great aunt Nell, my great aunt B, my aunt Jane, mm -hmm. Ida Mitchell, the whole family, Aunt Lil, we waited for the arrival of the bookmobile. It was something that we anticipated. Everyone on my street uh, looked for the bookmobile to pull in. So as it pulled down to the end of our block, they all came out of their house to come to the bookmobile. You could get on, but uh, no more than two or three people at a time. I just remember uh, sometimes they would hand you the books out the door, but you could get on and look around. 
but there were a lot of us waiting at the same time and maybe it wasn't that busy at other stops, but uh, it was a great experience. But yeah, I could get on and check out my books. My best memory of the bookmobile was the fact that they did not limit the number of books you could get. And my family were readers. My aunts, my grandmothers, it was nothing for me to get six books a week. And I particularly loved the Nancy Drew mysteries. So I read each and every one of those. Hi, my name is Bridget Hutchins, and what I remember about the bookmobile, it would come around, and I believe because of shortages of maybe libraries, the bookmobile provided um, communities the opportunity to check out books. Um, we love reading. Reading was one of the things that I love to do. So I was able to get the books and then it would come and you would turn the books in. So that's pretty much all I can remember before going to libraries that we used, took advantage of the bookmobile. My name is Deborah Johnson and I remember the bookmobile as a young child. Um, and just like Bridget, they came to our, through, to our neighborhood and it seemed like to me it was only in the summertime when school was closed. So we look forward to um, getting books, having the, seeing the bookmobile come up the street and we would stand on the side of the road and then go on the, on the bookmobile and check out books. And it was a lot of fun, something we all look forward to. Okay. My name is Patty McConnell. I started with Calvert Library in 1988 and I was, I was actually the first year on the bookmobile where we started with the, um, turtle top van. It was very exciting to have something new and fresh. And I was there for 15 years with Mildred. And she taught me many good things. Very rewarding. I, I loved every minute of it. Mildred, she was, it was wonderful. Uh, she taught me so many things about life and about family and the experiences with her was just phenomenal. It was great. It was a great experience working with her. Traveling around the county and meeting different customers, it was uh, something different every day. Even though if you met the same customer again, um, it, it just, the day was different. Each, each, each day of the week it was just, it was different and it was wonderful. It was a great experience. The Youth Center has been in partnership with the Calvert Library for a number of years and we are excited to be once again added as a stop on the Bookmobile's agenda. It will mean a lot to our youth to be able to have regular access to the library's resources and we hope that it will inspire more of our youth to engage more in reading. The library's Bookmobile will be especially helpful to our new Adolescent Clubhouse Program's goal to promote engagement in positive and drug-free activities. The Bookmobile will serve as a means to access books and resources to support our book clubs, support groups, and activities. On behalf of the East John Youth Center, we would like to congratulate the library on their new bookmobile and we thank you for your continued support of our organization and its programs. You couldn't get up the hills real fast. And I remember one time we were going on the old Route 4 and we were going down in Losby and they had this very steep hill and we got pulled over from the police we weren't <laughs> Stopped the bookmobile because we, I really don't know why he stopped us to tell you the truth. We weren't going real fast, but anyway, he stopped us because we were trying to get up that hill. So we might have been five minutes over the speed limit, but um, the road was different then. And he called it in, and whoever answered his dispatcher said, Please let the bookmobile go. <laughs> and my best memory is Mildred and I were on there, we were down at Broom's Island. And it started to snow really, really heavy. And everything was closing down. And we were trying to get in and the windshield wipers couldn't take the snow. 
So I'm driving and I stop every now and then. Mildred would get off, go around, hand wipe, <laughs> wipe off each side. We go a little further. She'd do the same thing again. <laughs> Until we got into the main library, they were all going home. We just, <laughs> but God bless her, she got up here, and, <laughs> and we had some we had some good times. So. And we, you know, we they'd give us lists, or we'd pick out uh, books that they liked to read. And of course, it's changed now. But men always wanted the westerns, and I'll never forget the, the interview the way they interviewed us from the interviewed us for the newspaper. And I didn't say it the way they put it in there, but the ladies liked the romance books, and I said, "So I like to read the spicy romance books." And the way they quoted it in the newspaper made me like, <laughs> don't, don't don't say anything. So that's, they did like the books with the covers on them, but you know that's what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my memories of the bookmobile and the staff are very pleasant. They were happy. They knew all of our names and there were a lot of kids that lived on my street. So I'm the oldest of seven and then there were other large families, uh, especially the Scuderi's who had nine. And they knew our names and knew our interest in books and they were just happy to see us, encouraged us to find the book that we like, and over a period of time knew what books to bring to our little community on First Street. They were just the nicest ladies ever, and they knew each and every one of our names. And when you're a little kid, that means a lot. I think there are a lot of benefits to having a bookmobile in Calvert County, but uh, they particularly help people who, I was a kid, I would have had no way to get to the library or to get a book, and it formulated my whole life. I grew up reading, I loved to read, it helped me with school, it helped me with everything. Then let's go to the other end of the spectrum, which is your senior citizens who are housebound sometimes, can't drive, or people at home convalescing. It is a real benefit to have something that can bring the books to you, a way to get books to people so that they don't have to necessarily always come to the library. It's the convenience. Yes, I think the, um, the bookmobile in our community, I kind of, we kind of took for granted during that time, during that period, and I was very young, probably about seven or eight years old. And I recently found out that uh, one of the reasons the bookmobile was made available to our community was because African-American children were not allowed to go to the library to check out books. So that was something that, um, you know, I kind of took for granted. Uh, it, it, was, it was definitely a vital part of uh, trying to have some semblance of equality for African-American children, um, you know, that um, would kind of, ed would, would educate us, you know, as well and, and reading is such a vital part of education. And so for that to be made available to us was definitely a wonderful thing. One friend who told me that it stopped right on Bears Beach Road, she said, I felt like it was my personal library. I could go on there, choose whatever I wanted, and it was mine for a week. That's amazing to be able to do that for children. So many people carry that memory with them and actually attributing the librarians and the bookmobile as the start of their avid reading practices for the rest of the life. I know we are all gonna love the new bookmobile, the technology. Uh, it's just gonna be a fantastic experience and first experiences for young children. It may be their first exposure to a big library. So, you know, Maya Angelou said, um, in her experience, people may not remember what you said, they may not remember what you did, but they will remember how you made them feel. And I think that's exactly what the bookmobile evoked. 
Although many people remember what the librarians did, it was mostly how they made them feel. Very special. You chose these books for me? Thank you. I like books on nursing. Here, try these. Oh, I like horse books. Have you read National Velvet? I can hear Ms. Hairston right now. So I have wonderful memories and I know that the New Bookmobile will create many more. We knew when the, you couldn't miss it, it was big. So when it pulled up in front of the house, we had a dog and the dog would start barking and be like, the Bookmobile's here. And then we would all like pretty much knock each other over trying to get on the Bookmobile to get our books. And uh, then, you know, the librarian was always super nice and uh, she would help us pick out our selections and then we would, you know, grab them on our arms or I think we had a crate and uh, my mom would carry them back into the house. And then we would lay out on the floor and read our books and enjoy them. You know, the greatest benefit to having a bookmobile in Calvert County is access. The library is all about giving access to people that don't have it and we are going to bridge a lot of gaps that we can't meet without having a library on wheels. And now we're gonna be able to do it. I'm so excited for that.